Thank you for joining us for part two of our blockchain introduction course, powered by Concordium. In part one, we got familiar with blockchain and explored its features and capabilities. In part two, we're going to investigate blockchain's uses and discover in which situations can be most benefited from the use of blockchain. Fundamentally, a blockchain-based platform such as Concordium is an open, distributed ledger platform that can record information in transactions between two parties efficiently and in a verifiable and permanent way. The ledger itself can also be programmed to trigger transactions automatically. At its most simple, blockchain can be seen as an evolution of communication networks and technologies from the past, such as the invention of the phone. The phone enables voice communication, whereas blockchain enables business interfacing and transacting. But the first person with a phone had nobody to talk to and had to wait for others to join the network before it was a useful technology. Blockchain is the same. It is only useful if there is someone who is either providing information or other people on the platform to do business with or interfaces to manage and automate whereas the phone encodes and transmits voices for people to talk. Blockchain is a fundamentally new kind of recording system that supports business ecosystems. It is a protocol followed by its participants. When two people phone each other, they are peers and their conversation may remain private. Similarly, blockchain's security abilities make the most sense when there is a lack of trusted third party or a wish to avoid one. So blockchain should be deployed in situations where peers want to deal directly with each other safely. No matter what the context, there's a strong possibility that blockchain will affect your business. The very big question is how and when. The big difference is that phone infrastructure is owned by entities who maintain the network and control who uses it. Whereas blockchain can be a public, permissionless infrastructure powered by its users, who are incentivized by tokens to provide the distributed execution environment like Concordium. Now, let's explore your organization. Could you benefit from blockchain? Answer the following questions. When you store your data, does your database have one writer or multiple writers? Blockchain are not best suited to give benefits to single writer databases. But if your database has multiple parties writing who need consistent data, Blockchain can give you significant benefits. If there are multiple parties, are all the writers trusted? Or can you naturally rely on an always online trusted third party checking and verifying every transaction? If you are not 100% sure that all parties can be trusted and you can't have a third party always online verifying each transaction, then blockchain is a good fit. Blockchain in general, and Concordium in particular, is recommended when multiple parties want to interact, transact, or exchange information securely, while avoiding risk of a single point of failure. To further explore if blockchain is appropriate, Carl Wurstel and Arthur Javis designed this practical decision chart. 1. Do you need to store states? 2. Do multiple parties need to share and access that data? Three. Is there a coordination or trust barrier between parties? Do they need to see information or verify the records are the same as their own? Four, the data cannot be tampered with or changed once written? Five, is a trusted third-party verifier too difficult or expensive to use? Is your data too sensitive to trust to an intermediary? Or are they more expensive than a blockchain solution? Six, will multiple entities write the data? If you answered yes to all questions, blockchain is definitely the solution for you, and you are eligible to explore how Concordium can help. So let's remind ourselves of the benefits of using blockchain infrastructure like Concordium. One, blockchain ensures immutability, which means its information is permanent. It is impossible to delete or alter any information written to the blockchain. New records can be added, but they are secure and not editable once written. Two, blockchain is decentralized, meaning everyone on the network has a copy of the ledger and everyone can verify all transactions 
eliminating the threat of a single point of failure. Each user is equal, and the network is secure without needing a third party or intermediation. Three, blockchain is democratic. The majority must agree and reach a consensus before a block can be written on the chain. Concordium in particular, thanks to its ID framework, adds the trust layer to a decentralized system. Four, blockchain technology provides a common source of truth. It remediates against disputes, since all participants agree step-by-step -step on what is recorded to the ledger they all commonly own. Five, blockchain enables absolute traceability, auditability, and transparency when information is recorded. There are many blockchains in competition, and Concordium was designed to revolutionize combined accountability and privacy, making it unique among decentralized permissionless blockchains. What is tokenomics? Blockchains are powered by their users, who are incentivized to take part in the democratic consensus process. This incentive is usually an element that depends on the usage level of the blockchain in the form of a token. Each blockchain network has a token that incentivizes its users. In the case of Concordium, it's the native payment token, the CCD. These tokens have a market value or price, and the use of the token on the platform are subject to rules at the protocol level, ruling their life cycle on the platform, the tokenomics. When a platform attracts a growing number of applications running on it, the volume of transactions and of collateral immobilization increases too, so demand for the token rises. This could drive the price of the token to increase. Likewise, demand for the token as stored value or if transition to use cases on the blockchain can cause the market capitalization and price of the tokens grow with it. However, blockchain is not always perfect. There are a number of constraints and issues with traditional centralized databases, such as on-chain governance establishment. Establishing a network's protocol's decision-making process is critical. Throughput rate constraints. Scalability in terms of transactions per second are a major topic of research. Ledger size. Because the record is permanent, it grows in size forever. Anonymity and pseudonymity. As regulators catch up with technology, the requirements on flux financial controls on blockchain come in question. Confidentiality of data treatment. How private can the data be? Energy consumption. Some versions of the consensus process of blockchain can use a lot of energy, like Bitcoin, whilst Concordium is going towards zero CO2 emission. Interoperability. Via bridges, one blockchain can interface with another. Finalization. Some blockchains, like Bitcoin and Ethereum, are probabilistics, and there is a likelihood that transactions will roll back and thus not be immutable, whilst others like Concordium are deterministics with instant finalization. Thus, when a transaction is done at such system, it is final and cannot roll back. Transaction costs are on some blockchains varying with the underlying price of the token used on the blockchain, whilst on Concordium, they are kept stable in fiat terms. New blockchain technologies like Concordium have been designed to solve many of these issues with innovative approaches. For example, one of these issues is especially complex. There are contradictory philosophies for applications running on a blockchain. On one hand, blockchains should be open. A blockchain should be permissionless, with peers able to join freely and openly distributed between them. It should be transparent and allow auditability, possibly to allow regulators to monitor and control it. But on the other hand, it should be possible to manage data confidentially on blockchains. Individuals' personal data should be private. They should be in control of their data, and corporations' sensitive strategic information should be kept confidential. Concordium has an original approach to solve this contradiction. It all starts with identity. All participants must obtain one or several identities from an open set of identity providers. With this identity, an account is created on the Concordium blockchain. When the participant uses this account to transact on the chain, their activity can remain private if they choose to, thanks to Concordium's extensive use of advanced cryptographic tools known as zero-knowledge proof. However, when necessary, identity providers and anonymity revokers have the ability to reveal the identity of problematic participants when compelled by a regulatory order or court request. 
yet no one single entity has the power to disclose this information. It remains private outside of these times. With these abilities, Concordium solves the issue of legal compliance for its users, whilst providing an extremely effective and confidential execution environment. On top of this, Concordium has innovated with an original two-layer consensus mechanism, which enables a fast transaction finality time without compromising on security. Be sure to check out part three of this course, where we explore how companies should start developing and implementing blockchains and how to evaluate the various platforms. Please don't forget to go to blockchainacademy.dk and read more about the blockchain courses and events of our partners. This video is brought to you thanks to the Blockchain Academy Network.